Hey Red Cat Racing fans, welcome back to the Red Cat University and I bet right about now you're saying how many option parts does Red Cat have for the Gen 8? Well there's more, there's lots more. But today we're going to focus on the aluminum transmission housing. This is a great upgrade not only for durability but it adds style to your vehicle as well. Alright, just going to need your basic tools and some workbench time to drop it in. So let's get to wrenching. First up, we gotta get the battery tray out of the way, so using a two millimeter hex driver, remove all the screws that secure the battery tray to the truck. Once you remove all the screws, slide the battery tray out of the truck and unplug your motor wires. Next, unscrew the set screw that secures the outdrive universal to the output shaft. And then remove the two screws that secure the transmission to the frame. And now you'll be able to remove the transmission from the frame. Let's start the transmission disassembly by removing the top gear cover. Next, remove the three screws that secure the motor plate to the transmission. Now we can separate the motor and plate from the transmission, followed by removing this lower screw that secures both transmission halves. Next, flip the transmission over and remove these three screws. Before taking the transmission halves apart, use a 1.5 millimeter hex driver and slide it into the output shaft. This will allow you to remove the slipper clutch nut using a seven millimeter nut driver. Take apart your slipper clutch and set the parts aside. Pull the transmission halves apart and take the gears out, followed by removing the bearings. And now for the fun part, assembling our new aluminum transmission. Start by installing the bearings, followed by the gears. Add grease to the gears if you feel necessary. Slide the bearings into the other half of the transmission and assemble the two halves. Using the new hardware supply with the transmission, screw the transmission halves together. You may want to add Loctite to these screws. Before moving on, I've decided to install the optional steel spur gear. And instead of using the slipper clutch, I'll show you how to lock out the slipper. Start by installing one slipper plate, simply followed by the spur gear. And make sure the slipper plate drops into the spur gear. Now slide in the next slipper plate. Make sure it falls into place. And now install the seven millimeter lock nut. This locks out the slipper clutch. And now we can finish assembling our transmission. Place the motor plate on the transmission and install all four screws. Now's a good time to double check your gear mesh and adjust it properly and then install the gear cover. And now, of course, you get to reinstall the transmission in the reverse order in which you took it apart. We're not going to do that, however. We're going to leave our transmission out because next week we're going to show you how to swap out the transfer case with the optional aluminum case. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you don't miss that video. And of course, links to the products used in today's video will be listed in the description below. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments section. We'll see you back here real soon for another Red Cat Racing how-to video.